ओके गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू दिस इज विश्वेश्वर बॉडी फैकल्टी चैतन्य गोसाल कैंपस विजयवाड़ा टुडे सर बॉडी टॉपिक इज प्लांट किंगडम एंड डायग्रामेटिक प्रेजेंटेशंस एंड डायग्रामेटिक एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ वेरियस ग्रुप्स इन द प्लांट किंगडम इन मोस्ट ऑफ द प्लांट्स इन द प्लांट किंगडम लाइफ साइकिल फॉर दिस मेनली टू फेजेस स्पोरोफाइट एंड गैमेटोफाइट प्रेजेंस ऑफ दिस टू फेजेस डिप्लॉयड फेज एंड हैप्लॉयड फेज इन द लाइफ साइकिल इज अ कॉमन इन ऑल प्लांट्स इन द प्लांट किंगडम इट इज अ वेरी कॉमन बट physically physiologically in terms of the size also one phase sporophyte in one plant life cycle is different from another plant life cycle for example in algae sporophyte is highly reduced but gametophyte is well elaborated whereas in angiosperm in that also two phases are there but gametophyte is highly reduced sporophyte is highly elaborated elaborated this kind of structural changes and functional changes occurs in both the sporophyte and gametophytic phases in life cycle of various plants these successes are differ from plant to the plant first of all what are the some basics about these two phases sporophyte is meant for production of uh, spores from their spore mother cells spore mother cells are usually last cells of the sporophyte such as spore mother cells undergo meiotic cell division to form spores why this is the haplontic phase the haploid phase is called as the gametophyte it is able to produce gametes able to produce gametes for sake of fertilization such a gamete producing phase is the gametophyte such a gametes are able to fuse to form a diploid cell that is called zygote the ploidy of the zygote is a diploid the fusion of gametes is known as fertilization these are the two important things occurs in sexual life cycle of all the plants in plant kingdom one is the fertilization and second one is the meiosis in most of the plants in the uh, plant kingdom for this these two important events like fertilization and uh, meiotic cell division nothing but reduction division are the common important events of uh, sexual reproduction fertilization is the beginning for sporophytic generation but meios is the beginning for gametophytic generation likewise another important comparison between the sporophyte and gametophyte sporophyte always starts from zygote why this is a sporophyte in diploid condition because zygote commonly found in diploid condition we can make one assertion reason type of question in this uh, aspect usually sporophytes are diploid assertion why reason what is the correct reason because the sporophyte is developed from diploid zygote likewise usually gametophyte is in haploid condition assertion how can you say usually gametophytes are in haploid condition because the first cell for the development of gametophyte is a haploid spore gametophyte always arises from one haploid cell spore that's why gametophyte is also in haploid condition the products of the gametophyte gametes in haploid condition one of the major product of the sporophyte is a spore mother cell that is a diploid condition okay from this basic concepts we can construct uh, around here eight questions here number 1 listen what is the first cell for development of sporophyte zygote first question completed second question what is the first cell for development of gametophyte spore third question what are the last cells of the gametophyte gametes likewise fourth question what are the last cells of the sporophyte spore mother cells if the sporophyte is the homosporous only one kind of spore mother cells are there if the sporophyte is the heterosporous it can yield two types of spore mother cells such as microspore mother cells and megaspore mother cells up to your six questions completed question number 7 what is the important event for the beginning of the sporophyte fertilization a uh, fertilization important event for ending of the gametophytic generation likewise eighth question is here what is the event that is the beginning for the gametophytic generation meiosis meiosis is the beginning for gametophyte spore is the first cell for the development of gametophyte likewise fertilization is the beginning for sporophyte and result of the fertilization zygote is the first cell for the development of sporophyte these are some basic things these two phases are commonly found in life cycle of almost all the plants in plant kingdom but how can you variable this life cycle from one group to another group like algae bryotedo gymnon angio the physical form 
and physiological form photosynthetic nature or differ among these two phases in life cycle of various plants in the plant kingdom i will explain diagrammatically all these phases of the variable groups in the plant kingdom observe here these are the five divisions of the plant kingdom algae bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosome and angiosperm in this table are contents gametophytes are mentioned in this above row in below row sporophytic diagrams are there on obliquely is there in course of evolution from algae to angio gradually the gametophytes are reduced clearly observe here well elaborated gametophyte is there in entire life cycle of the algae gametophyte is very well elaborated especially in some brown algae so large sized gametophyte or kelp is there the huge body of the brown algae is called as kelps their kelp differentiable into food seta and uh, sorry whole pass seta or uh, stipe and uh, frond when compared to gametophyte sporophyte is a uh, minimized or reduced into the single cell only one cell it is a multicellular but it is a single cell entire sporophyte minimized to single cell that is a uh, zygote only there is no other cells here in the sporophyte generation so when compared to gametophyte sporophyte is highly reduced but gametophyte is photosynthetic independent and dominant in algae in contrast to the algae in angiosperm subject here gametophyte highly reduced and minimized to few number of cells it is a female gametophyte structure of angiosperm so another name of female gametophyte in angiosperm is called embryo sac it is a male gametophyte germinated pollen germinated pollen grain is example for matured gamete gametophyte maximum number of cells in matured male gametophyte three only one is the vestigial cell remaining two are the sperms whereas in maximum number of cells in embryo sac or female gametophyte angiosperm is seven cells three cells in egg apparatus three antipodals single central cell so when compared to the sporophyte gametophyte highly reduced in what aspect reduced terms of the size number of cells and uh, nutrition there is no photosynthetic tissue here it is not a photosynthetic not a independent dependent on sporophytic area whereas in sporophyte sporophyte of angiosperm highly developed structure is there the sporophytic band body differentiable into undergo root system aerial shoot system in aerial aerial shoot also differentiable into stem uh, stems to leaves to branches to flowers in persons fruit the seed everything is there here it is a much elaborated in terms of the life span far greater photosynthetically active and independent very elaborated in terms of size size also very broader multicellular larger structure okay it is quite opposite and compared to the algae angiosperm is quite opposite in algae gametophyte highly developed whereas in angiosperm sporophyte is highly developed independent when compared to the sporophyte of the algae highly reduced minimized to the single cell whereas in angiosperms sporophyte is a very very well developed so in evolution phenomena or procedure gametophyte gradually reduced from algae to angio from division to zygote gradually reduced and uh, independent gametophytes gradually become as uh, dependent gametophytes from algae to angio it clearly explains the retrogressive evolution or reduction in the progress of evolution gametophyte whereas in sporophyte evolution proceeds from highly reduced sporophytes to highly elaborated in depend independent sporophytes in algae less developed or negligible sporophytes whereas in bryophytes sporophyte differentiable into three small structures such as food seta capsule in life cycle of the mosses bryophytes whereas in pteridophytes first time true roots true stem true leaf like structures developed in the sporophyte of the pteridophyte onwards and these are vascular structures and vascular vascular tissues also developed these are adapted to the terrestrial habitats first time hence we can say the first true land vascular plants are the first vascular plants first true terrestrial plants pteridophytes 
due to presence of aspect which is able to survive on land or terrestrial habitats next coming to gymnosomes gymnosomic plant body is a huge body when compared to diadophytes very well developed and here uh, formation of ovules and uh, uh, seed production is also there it is one of the major variation between pteridophyte to gymnosperm seedless non sporophytes seed producing sporophytic plants here along with the seeds uh, fruit formation also occurs in angiosperms gradual development is there observe here from algae to angiosperms gradually the size of this box is also increases so size of the columns also increases so it is a representative for progressive evolution of sporophyte whereas in gametophyte the size of these columns from algae to angiosperms gradually reduced reduced finally highly reduced it clearly indicates retrogressive evolution so finally we can give on two statements gametophyte can exhibit retrogressive evolution but sporophyte can exhibit progressive evolution during the evolution procedure in the plant kingdom this is the thallus like plant body in algae gametophyte whereas in bryophyte especially mosses the gametophyte also called as the adult gametophyte phase is the gametophore differentiable into root like rhizoids stem like colloid leaf like uh, phylloids not true structures just like uh, phyllo leaf oid leaf like these leaves spirally born around the axis uh, stem like structure colloid collo stem stem like colloid root like root means rhizo technical name of the root is the rhizo like or similar or pseudo oid root like rhizoid stem like colloid leaf like phylloids are developed in gametophytic phase of the bryophyte like especially mosses only some primitive bryophytes like uh, liverworts thalloid pan body is there some are leafy forms also there when compared to the algal gametophyte it is slightly developed slightly developed next pteridophyte uh, gametophyte reduced when compared to the size and structure of the gametophyte found in bryophyte pteridophyte uh, gametophyte is highly reduced very very small minimum the size is in some few centimeters only it is a heart shaped gametophyte in forms the name of the structure is the prothallus prothallus is the another name of gametophyte in pteridophytes another name of gametophyte in pteridophytes heart shaped structure it has unicellular rhizoids functionally similar to the roots but the roots are deployed whereas here haploid structures are there rhizoids not true root remaining under structure the chlorophyll tissue is there that's why it is a photosynthetic independent why this is the phase is called as gametophyte because it able to produce gametes due to the presence of gametangia these are the female gametangias also called as archegonias these are male gametangias and tridias many motiles uh, many motile are ciliated sperms obtained from this anthridia male sex organ male gametangia anthridia from this archegonia single egg is there not liberated out these are stationary and non motile single egg is found inside of each archegonia both archegonias and anthridias present within the single prothallus and the sexuality of this prothallus is uh, monoecious or bisexual so gametophytes are usually bisexual in pteridophytes next coming to gymnosomes this only the green color portion is only gametophyte this pink color portion is the sporangium nothing but ovule structure of the ovule in gymnosomes are the trophous ovule is there outer integument area inner integument area phenicel and chalagel area uh, micropylar region is there completely sporophyte structures but that green color portion is found inside of the ovule or sporangium is the gametophyte listen very carefully another name of gametophyte in gymnosomes is a endosperm it is also called endosperm it is a pre fertilized product haploid gametophyte haploid that endosperm is also haploid and two archegonia are there two to many archegonia are present archegonia nothing but uh, gametangias okay when compared to the size of gametophytes of the pteridophyte or bryophyte or algae it is highly reduced minimized and dependent on or inside of the sporophytic structures sporangia of the rear 
this pink color pink color portion is a sporophytic body that provides shelter and food material for the independent gametophyte the green color portion is the gametophytes tell me once again what is the another name of this gametophyte in gymnosperms endosperm what is the another name of gametophyte in pteridophyte especially fawns prothallus okay prothallus is the other name of gametophyte of the fawns endosperm is the another name of gametophyte in gymnosperms coming to angiosperms another name of the gametophyte of female gametophyte of angiosperm is embryo sac from here to here gymno to angio your highly reduced gametophyte other very few cellular gametophytes two synergid cells one egg cell central larger central cell is there and three antibodies maximum number of cells in female gametophyte of angiosperms seven only where is a male gametophyte the only three cells are there a pollen with the pollen chip is a mature male gametophyte in the maximum number of cells are three two are sperms one is the only one is the vestigial cell is there in terms of the size in terms of the number of cells and independent uh, independence nature these are highly reduced it is the evolution especially retrogressive evolution of gametophytes from algae to angio in the beginning of the evolution gametophytes are independence by at the end of the evolution especially in gymno and uh, angiosperm advanced plants gametophytes become as uh, dependents and highly reduced it is the evolution of pattern of gametophytic generation okay coming to the sporophytic generation in algal members the sporophyte minimizes to only one cell single cell that is the zygote only there is no further uh, diploid stages here because the zygote undergo meiosis immediately without giving embryo like structures except all the remaining all members of the plant kingdom except all the remaining all the members of plant kingdom bryotae or gymnon angio they go to undergo repeated number of mitotic divisions to form further uh, amount of the sporophyte tissue like embryo in bryophyta especially mosses or in liverworts also they go to undergo mitotic division to form an embryo that embryo differentiable into basal foot middle long stalk like structure seta and uh, terminal capsule terminal capsule capsule is the site for sporangia means it is a spore producing area inside of capsule spore mother cells are there such spore mother cells undergo meiosis to produce uh, spores spore production ability is there for the structure hence it is called sporophyte okay simply you can make one question here what is the site of meiosis in uh, bryophyta members uh, sporangia or spore mother cells found inside of the capsule of the sporophyte likewise you can make one more question here what is the site of fertilization in life cycle of the bryophytes meiosis is concerned with sporophytic generation fertilization is the concerned with gametophytic generation because in this gametophyte two types of sex organs anthidi archegonia are there instead of archegonia one egg cell is present that archegonial venter is the exact location for fertilization so fertilization takes place in gametophyte meiosis takes place in sporophyte next coming to the sporophytic structure of uh, pterodophytes is the true plant body true sporophytic plant body the differentiable into true rows true stem true leaves first time developed in pteridophytes as you can say first true terrestrial plants uh, pteridophytes but bryophytes also first land plants but not true land plants these are able to survive in both the partially aquatic habitats partially terrestrial habitats and water is essential for fertilization bryophytes hence the common name of bryophyte is the amphibious plants in the plant kingdom how can you say the bryophytic plants are amphibious plants in plant kingdom because water is essential for fertilization in bryophytes without water there is no fertilization in this pteridophyte of sporophytes clear indicates green color presentation is there that the green color leaves are photosynthetic organs prothallus also in green color photosynthetic both the gametophytes sporophytes are both the gametophytes sporophytes are independent it is a unique feature in pteridophytes okay the special character of the pteridophytes here one thing independent phase may not differ from one word dominant phase every dominant phase is independent remember it every dominant phase is independent 
but all independent phases may, may not be dominant. For example, sporophyte is independent and dominant in dendrophytes, but gametophyte is independent, not dominant. How can you say the sporophyte is a dominant than gametophytes in dendrophytes? It is a well adapted to the terrestrial habitat due to the presence of Alaska tissues. Lifespan is also very higher in terms of size, also very bigger. When compared to gametophyte, gametophyte is a highly small, reduced structures. Lifespan is very few weeks only. Okay. In this case, we can say it is the dominant, sporophyte is the dominant, gametophyte is the not dominant. But both are independent. Next, coming to the next plant group, gymnosomes. Mostly structurally, plant body is similar to the higher plants, like angiosomes. It also undergone root system, is there usually tap root system, sometimes undergone Advantageous may also possible to present aerial stem, aerial shoot differentiable into stem, leaves and sporophylls. If there is no true flowers, not well developed flowers, flowers are not well developed here. Root, stem, leaf and sporophylls are there. Sporophylls are two types, microsporophylls, megasporophylls. Microsporophylls similar to the stamens. Megaspores similar to the carpels. Especially in majority of the gymnosomes, uh, most of the microsporophylls are assembled together or aggregate to form a coneless structure that is called male cone or stubile. In majority of the gymnosomes, uh, megasporophylls also aggregate to form female comb except cycus plants. Except uh, cycus. It is a highly elaborated developed sporophyte in angiosomes. Dominant, independent, photosynthetic, and well differentiated into underground root system, aerial shoot system. The shoot system for this stem with branches, leaves, flowers, fruits with the seeds. How can you differentiate the sporophyte of angio from gymno? Root is common, stem common, leaf common, but not developed flowers, well developed flowers are there. Ovules naked is the most important thing. Naked ovules are present. Whereas here, the carpel, nothing but megasporophyll, differentiable into ovary, style, stigma. Ovules born inside of the ovary. After the fertilization, this ovary becomes as the fruit ovules into seeds. Whereas in gymnosome, there is no ovary. Naked ovules give rise to the naked seeds without fruits. Thus, we can say these are fruitless seed producing plants. Gymnosomes are the fruitless seed producing plants. How can you say uh, fruit formation absent in gymnosomes? Lack of ovary, simple reason. Lack of ovary, but ovary is present along with the style and stigma in angiosomes. Okay. It is a compared to account or major differences between sporophytic generation and gametophyte generation in all the plant divisions in plant kingdom. Next, uh, questions. Some assertion reason type of questions related to compared to account of uh, plant kingdom. Read the reason here. Assertion. Bryophytes are called amphibious plants in the plant kingdom. Amphibious plants in the plant kingdom. Read the second statement also. They grow in moist soil and water needed for sexual reproduction, especially transmission of male gametes. Then what is the right answer? As is the true amphibious plants in the plant kingdom. How can you say these are amphibious? Moist climate or soil and the essentiality of water for fertilization. Then only these are called as uh, amphibious plants. Assertion true, reason true, and reason is the correct explanation for assertion. Next question, bryophytes are homosporous. Homo, all the spores obtained from sporophyte are same kind, that is meaning for homo. Statement is the truth. In all bryophytes, the filamentous algal-like juvenile gametophyte stage is called protonema. Is it true or false? True. In some kind of plants like masses only, in masses only, the gametophytic generation divisible into two subphages, juvenile phase, adult phase. The name of adult phase is the protonema. But the name of uh, name of juvenile phase, the name of adult phase is a gametophore. This kind of subphages of the gametophyte found in some of the bryophytes only, not all. That's why this statement is, uh, reason is false. Only assertion is the truth.
especially protonema appears like filamental structures filamental structure commonly found in algal members like spirogyra eulothrix so bryophyte clearly recalls their ancestral features the protonema of the bryophyta recalls ancestral character the filamental nature of their algae so in this reason term of all all is there that's why this is the false here sum is given or masses are given then the statement is also right so the answer is third option a true or is false next question algae and bryophytes are atracheophytes algae and bryophytes are atracheophytes two groups are mentioned clearly algae and bryo atracheo a for absence of the vascular tissues remain rest of the three members pteridophytes gymnosomes angiosomes vascular tissues are there and so these three are called as tracheophytes it is the classification of plant kingdom based on presence and absence of the vascular tissues okay they lack vascular tissues both true and the reason is the correct explanation of assertion a tracheo absence of vascular tissues then right answer is the first option next question fertilization in pteridophytes require external water supply not only pteridophytes even in bryophytes also water essential for fertilization then statement is the true what is the reason here male gametes another name of male gametes sperms sperms should reach the archegonium for the sake of fertilization these sperms are motile either flagellas or cilia are present to swim in water the locomotor organs are there okay that's why water is essential for fertilization in this plant groups now what is the correct answer here a and r true r is a correct explanation for assertion suppose in this question bryophyta is there here also first of the right answer in pteridophytes gametophyte is called as prothallus pro first formed thallus like structure in life cycle of the pteridophytes especially in ponds not all pteridophytes but there is no word here all that's a statement is the true so prothallus is the another name of gametophyte in pteridophytes it is independent but not dominant hard shaped structure is there photosynthetic one more thing vascular tissues are absent in an important concept in all tracheophytes vascular tissues are there but these are vascular tissues are confined to sporophytic body only not to the gametophytic plant body even in vascular tissues also like gymnosomes angiosomes pteridophytes so vascular tissues are absent in gametophytic portion next heterosporous pteridophytes produce unisexual prothallus very very important statement listen sexuality of the prothallus or gametophyte is depending on sporous nature of the sporophyte we can make another two statements from the single statement for example if the sporophyte is homo it give rise to only one kind of spores only one kind of spores when these spores are germinates it give rise to one gametophyte that gametophyte is uh, bisexual or monoecious monoecious it means both male organs antheridia female organgonias both are present on the same gametophyte so gametophyte sexuality is the monoecious that is depending on homosporous nature of the sporophyte if the sporophyte suppose hetero condition it give rise to two types of spores one kind of spores are called microspores another kind of spores are called megaspores microspore is the first self development of male gametophyte or male prothallus megaspore is the first self for the development of female gametophyte or female prothallus so gametophytes male and female kind of separation separation is there a differentiable is possible then the sexuality of the gametophyte is a dioecious dioecious when both male and female sexes are separate that is the meaning for dioecious nature okay dioecious sorry sexuality of the gametophyte is clearly depending on nature of the sporous nature of sporophyte 
Sporophyte is the home of gametophyte is monoecious. Sporophyte is the head of gametophyte is dioecious. Okay. In heterosporous stadophytes like Selaginella salvinia, Prothalus are unisexual. Whereas in remaining all the stadophytes like homosporous stadophytes, Prothalus is monoecious or bisexual. Okay. According to this question, both the statements are true but not correct explanation. Second option is right answer. Both the statement true or is not correct explanation for assertion. To become first option is answer, what kind of statement should be there in the second statement? The homo is given and term is the bisexual is given instead of unisexual, bisexual is there. Homo term is there instead of hetero. Then reason is the correct explanation for assertion. Then answer is the first option. Next question. Prothallus of the tetrophyte is independent because protose in the tissue is found in this prothallus. Green color tissue, chlorophyllous tissue is there. That's why you can say it is independent. Prothallus is another name of gametophyte. Next, sporophyte is a dominant phase in tetrophyte and independent also. Both the statements true but no explanation. R is not a correct explanation for assertion. But statements both are true. How can you change that statement second one to become answer first one as a correct one? Or what is the correct reason for this assertion? If the statement is uh, prothallus of or gametophyte or tetrophytes are chlorophyllous, chlorophyllous automatically photosynthetic and independent. How can you say sporophyte of the tetrophyte is a dominant? For example, reason is the assertion. Reason is assertion. Then what is the correct reason for this assertion statement? In tetrophyta members, so sporophyte is the vascularized and well adapted to terrestrial habitats. Lifespan is uh, more than one year. Lifespan is uh, more than one year. It is the reason to say it is the dominant phase. Listen once again. How can you say the sporophyte phase in the tetrophyta plants is the dominant? We can give three reasons. One is the uh, well adapted to the terrestrial habitat due to the presence of plasma tissues. Second one is the photosynthetic growth. Third one is the lifespan is the perennial. More than one year lifespan is there. It is the reason to say that sporophyte is a dominant. But gametophyte photosynthetic even though that is not a dominant because lifespan is very shorter and vascular tissues are absent. Vascular tissues are absent. The available survivability of the gametophyte on land is depending on availability of water. Water may not available 360 days. That's why the lifespan is minimized to few months, few weeks only. It is a reason to say it is not a dominant. Next question. Spermatophytes do not require external water for fertilization. Spermatophytes do not require external water for fertilization. What is the meaning for the spermatophytes? Seed producing plants. What are examples for seed producing plants? Both gymno and angio. Gymno and angio are example for seed producing plants. Here one important or key word in this statement, do not require external water for fertilization. Uh, once to read the reason also, spermatophyte shows the siphonogamous type of ugame. Here the key word is the siphono. Siphon means a tube. Siphon means a tube. Pollination is common in all gymnoangiosperms. After completion of the pollination, the pollen germinate to form a tube. This is the tube act as a non carrier for non motile sperms. Sperms are non motile. Tube act as a sperm carrier. That's why no need of water for fertilization. No need of water. That is the thing is clearly mentioned in the assertion. So, statement A true, R2, and R is correct explanation. How can you say R is correct explanation? Due to the siphonogamous nature. Siphonogamous nature, what is not essential? What is not essential? Coming to the next question, cycles is a gymnosperm. So, statement is a true. Cycles is an example for cycles, spinous, gingo, viloba, netum, all are example for gymnosperms as per our inside textbook. Now, what is the reason here? Cycles produce naked seeds. Gymno means naked. 
presence of naked seed or naked ovule is a character feature of gymnosperms it also both the statements true and or is the correct explanation question next question in gymno the endosperm is haploid whereas in angio endosperm is formed after fertilization and triploid condition is there overall statement is a true reason in gymnosperm the female gametophyte also called as itself act as endosperm what is the ploidy of the gametophyte usually gametophyte is in haploid condition another name of gametophyte is endosperm in gymno that's why endosperm is also haploid and it is formed before the fertilization it is the pre fertilized product okay how can you say the endosperm of the gymno is haploid because that is formed before fertilization it is not a result of the double fertilization then r is also correct and r is the correct explanation for example here the angiotermy is there instead of gymno one more question we can construct one more question what kind of changes are there in session angi is given instead of haploid condition diploid is given it is the statement even in a, a second statement reason also we can change some kind of uh, corrections gymno replaced by the term angio and uh, endosperm is the product of triple fusion term is given once again read the first statement after correction in angiosperm the endosperm is diploid sorry triploid sorry triploid condition statement is the true even after correction also what is the correct reason for this kind of assertion in angiosperms the endosperm is a triploid and formed after the fertilization as a result of the triple fusion in this modified statements also r is the correct explanation for assertion next question second tissues are formed from cambium in gymnosperms some of the gymnosperms in some gymnosperms second tissues what are second tissues car secondary cortex secondary xylem secondary phloem all are example for secondary tissues especially secondary xylem and secondary phloem together called secondary vascular tissues same be with the secondary meshmat tissue same be with the secondary meshmat tissue the during secondary growth can be undergo repeated number of perineal divisions to form secondary tissues is the can be the vascular cambium give rise to secondary vascular tissue is the can be the car cam building that give rise to periderm such a periderm consisting of car and a secondary cortex so assertion is a true if gymnosperms do not show secondary growth this statement is a false how can you say reason is false the term do not is there it is the keyword in some of the gymnosperms can exhibit the secondary growth angiosperms also most of the dicots of the angiosperms show the secondary growth and gymnos some of the gymnosperms not all the gymnosperms can exhibit secondary growth is the reason consisting of secondary growth in gymnosperms of gymnosperms then that kind of reason is the correct explanation for the assertion okay but in this real condition if the term do not is given then the right answer is a third option or statement is a false next question double fertilization is a unique feature or characteristic feature of angio only angiosperm belongs to the phanerogams it is a statement also correct but there is no explanation between assertion and reason reason is reason doesn't explain the statement assertion to so become this answer as a first one what kind of changes needed in a reason in angiosperms two types of gametic fusions are there two types of gametic fusions one is the syngamy male gamete fused with the female gamete second kind of gametic fusion is a triple fusion due to the presence of these two types of gametic fusions the process of the fertilization in angiosperms is considered as a double fertilization at this time this kind of reason is correct explanation of the assertion but as per this original question both the statements are correct but if there is no explanation that's why the true answer is right answer is a second option to make it is as a first option 
some kind of changes need in reason that is the angiosomes can exhibit two types of gametic fusions like syngamy and triple fusion then only this kind of fertilization is called double fertilization double combination of two types of gametic fusions like syngamy and triple fusion one more question similar to the fertilization of the angiosomes as yes, yes, triple fusion occurs in angio statement true the endosome and angiosome is haploid it is a false in angiosomes endosome is a triploid it is formed as a result of the triple fusion in triple fusion haploid sperm fuses with diploid secondary nucleus of the central cell n plus 2n give rise to 3n n plus 2n give rise to 3n but here n is mentioned clearly haploid is given that's why statement r is false but the statement is r is true regarding gymnosomes in case of gymnosome endosome is haploid in case of angiosperms endosome is triploid if the haploid is mentioned that's why r is false a is true next question the prothallus in dendrophyte is a gametophyte prothallus is another name of gametophyte if the gametophyte body not differentiable into root stem leafless structure hence it is called thallus and first formed structure in the life cycle from spore onwards that's why it is the prothallus prothallus dendrophyte is haploid because gametophyte true and perform sexual reproduction how can you say sexual reproduction is the character of prothallus in life cycle of the dendrophytes for the sake of sexual reproduction gametes are required that male gametes sperms female gamete the egg to produce sperm anthidia is needed egg archegonia are there another name of this archegonia anthidia are male and female gametangia gametangia are the products or structures are found in gametophyte only haploid structure only prothallus possesses both anthidia and archegonia anthidia and archegonia is meant for uh, sexual reproduction by producing respective gametes then what is the correct answer here as the sun true reason true and there is a correct explanation so so the right answer is uh, first option in life cycle of the plants spores are the first cells of the gametophyte is it true or false gametophyte haploid spore is also haploid already learn at the beginning of the uh, fundamental things about the life cycle spore is the first cell for gametophyte zygote is the first cell for the sporophyte in nature spore is unicellular haploid that produces haploid gametophyte then uh, both the statements true and r explains assertion the right answer is the first option next question endosome is haploid in gymno true read the statement the reason endosome is gymnosome develops from primary endosperm nucleus short name pen pen is the product of triple fusion triple fusion absent in gymno that's why in the, that's why endosome is never in triploid condition in a gymnosomes you are mentioned this is endosome is developed from primary endo that's my reason wrong assertion true right answer is the third option a true or false next spreading of dendrophytes is the restricted to the narrow geographical regions or some kind of locations only wherever plenty of water or wet conditions available there only the plants like dendrophytes and bryophytes are located the geographical distribution is limited to some areas reason water is essential for fertilization actual reason so statement is a is a true once read the reason also gametophyte faces sensitive to drought condition and water is required for is the key word here it is the essentiality of the water for fertilization because male gametes are motile male gametes should be reach the archegonia or egg by swimming through the water okay without the water how they can swim for the swimming purpose swimming purpose what is essential without water there is no fertilization there is no completion of life cycle that's why these are the plants are minimized restricted geographically in some kind of locations only especially water kind locations only here both the statements are true and there is also correct explanation yes is that correct answer is the first option gametophytic phase is sensitive to the drought condition and what is required for fertilization it is exact keyword to explain assertion next question 
bryophytes are called amphibians of the plant kingdom statement is the true they lack true roots true stems true leaves this is also true but is not a reason to say bryophytes are amphibious plants in the plant kingdom but both the statements are true there is no explanation second option pteridophytes are the first terrestrial vascular plants first terrestrial vascular plants statement is the true vascular tissues are first time developed in pteridophytes prothallus pteridophyte for this xylem and phloem xylem phloem are example for vascular tissues vascular tissues are absent in prothallus because the prothallus is the gametophyte not only pteridophytes in every plant body in the plant kingdom it may be either pteridos gymnonangio vascular tissues are never found in gametophytic stages vascular tissues are found in sporophytic stage of all vascular plants nothing but tracheophytes here statement a is a true or is false xylem phloem absent in prothallus so if it uh, r is false then right answer is the third option next question mosses play significant role in plant succession mosses play significant role in plant succession especially in geological success plant succession after lichens as a pioneer so mosses as a second occupant occupants and uh, lithosphere areas so they play a very significant role in plant succession apart from lichens they decompose the rock making the substrate not suitable for the growth of higher plants assertion is a true but r is false how can you say r is false is the clearly mentioned not suitable actually it is suitable for the growth of viral plants next ficus is the dioecious plant this is a very 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 important question if the term gymnosum is given then statement may be false in the gymnosum one special example ficus is given dioecious plant plant is a sporophyte plant body in gymnosperms and angiosperm is the sporophyte the sporophytic plant body is the dioecious dioecious means male sporophyte female sporophyte male plant body female plant body both are physically separated is the microsporophyll nothing but male cones are there that is the male plant body megasporophylls are found in another plant that is the female plant body microsporophylls and megasporophylls are produced on same plant it is the statement is the false how can you say it is the false if the same plant is given both the male organs microsporophylls female organs megasporophylls not present on the same plant present on two separate plant bodies or two separate sporophytes and that is a dioecious okay whereas in another member of the same gymnosum so pinus so both male cones female cones male organs microsporophylls female organs megasporophylls born on same sporophyte so the sporophyte is uh, monoecious in pinus or rest of the gymnosum so whereas in cycas uh, plant both are uh, two types of sporophytes are there that is the meaning for dioecious both the microsporophylls megasporophylls not born on the same plant body okay if the statement r is false then right answer is uh, third option next question gametophytes are dioecious in all gymnosperms okay all keyword is there true dioecious true one more keyword gametophyte all are true the sporophyte is mentioned statement is false two types of gametophytes are there male gametophyte female gametophyte because uh, sporophyte is the heterosporous in all gymnosperms heterosporous sporophyte is there means the sporophyte produces two types of the spores so microspores and megaspores microspore is the first cell for the development of male gametophyte megaspore is the first cell for the development of female gametophyte so physically both gamete of male and female gametophytes are separate that is the meaning for dioecious nature okay not only in all gymnosperms in all angiosperms also dioecious gametophytes are there both gymno and angiosperms gametophyte is always dioecious statement a is the true r is also true and r is a correct explanation next one more question <coughs> chlorophyce common name green algae or usually grass green color because the pigments like chlorophyll a and b present as in higher plants 
especially chlorophyll b is causes for grass green color of the green algae they contain chlorophyll a and c is the c wrong answer that's why statement r false a true third option okay thank you